Midway through the 22nd century, robots developed and maintained by the USS Corporation suddenly turned against humanity. They flooded the water supply with harmful nanites, sending most of the population into a coma-like state. These countless men, women, and children were loaded into transport shuttles and whisked away. No one knows where. No one knows why. More than a year has passed since the incident. Those who managed to evade the robot's clutches scavenge the now silent cities. Mechanized police and drones search relentlessly for any remaining signs of life. Even most domestic bots now report humans on sight. Under USS Corp's watchful eye, a new robotic civilization is emerging from the ashes of the old. In the face of encroaching extinction, the few who remain fight to survive, searching for the reason behind humanity's fate and clinging to the hope of better days ahead. There's no time, Em. Saw some cops down the block. Probably the neighborhood patrol. Have you got the list? No, but we know what we need. Vera was up all night. If we don't find something to break the fever, sooner or later, someone's gonna hear her crying. That's priority number one. Brian still isn't sleeping. And Alex's leg is making him even crankier than normal. We should find something for them, too. Definitely. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Let me know what you find. You got it. Surprised the robots haven't been here yet. They scavenge all sorts of scrap. God knows why. Whoa, that's a lot of drugs. I don't know what they're all for, but I gotta find something for Vera's fever. And I'm guessing it's in that case. I hate to admit it, but if Matt were here, he'd figure something out. Every time Park's asthma kicks in, I feel so helpless. It's some cable. Hello, Mr. Cash Register. 
How's retirement treating you? Damn it, just my luck. So, what have we got here? It's the manager's office. Probably something useful inside. Only problem? It's locked. There's no way I'm getting inside without a keycard. It's a rec room. The door's locked. How to get inside? The back door is already unlocked. Could be useful if we need to cut and run. Nope, not the time, Emily. Whoa, look at all those meds. No way I'm breaking down this door, though. I'll have to find a control panel. found this. Thought it might be, you know, useful. Great. I've been scared to check, but I think the one I've been using is on its last legs. Hey, Park. What have we got? Total mess. I guess we weren't the first ones to hit the pharmacy. They took everything. Except for these appetite suppressants. Hallelujah. Our prayers have been answered. All right, let's keep going. Well, that's a little inconvenient. This shelf's cutting off access to all the pediatric medicines. We have to find a way to move it without drawing any attention. Definitely not moving it on my own. Park, give me a hand over here. Sure thing. Cops will hear it. Need to find another way. Ideas? This thing's way too heavy for us to lift on our own. We might have better luck if we had some kind of lever. Let's take a look. Could be some tools I can use. room. It's a battery. Something tells me this could come in handy. Marta would love this. She's crazy about anime and pretty much anything else from Japan. Brian's insomnia doesn't seem to be getting any better. Maybe these pills will do the trick. What kind of fossil is this? These terminals belong in a museum. What's left of humanity is a little bit like this poor little guy. No one left to water it. Oh, the irony. It's alive. Nice work, Emily. <laughs>